Madin Mazimba, I'm back again. So despite the noise that is made about Harare, you know, in my opinion, Blawayo still remains the creative capital of Zimbabwe. The level of creativity in the city is unmatched. Lived in Blawayo for about three years, and the city has this vibe which you could not get anyway in, in the whole of Zimbabwe. You know, there are a lot of extremely talented artists in Blawayo who deserve more acknowledgement but are overlooked mainly because a few shoners can comprehend Isindebele. So that language barrier is definitely uh, one thing that's pulling down a lot of uh, talented Debele artists. Now, one such artist uh, that definitely needs a lot of uh, not acknowledgement is Indigo Saint. The name has been mentioned uh, quite a lot, uh, a couple of times on social media, and you know what, I finally decided to check him out. Coincidentally, and also to my luck, you know what, he had just uh, released a new project, uh, Block 34. The Tales of the Bougie Pansula. So I decided to check, uh, you know, what, on this project. So I jumped on this project. And today I'll be sharing with you my views and thoughts, you know, what, on this uh, album, Block 34 by Indigo Saint. Now, having listened to this album, I have to say the production is uh, done quite well. Now, it's Sonic Alone Point on a number of tracks. The instrumental arrangements, they are quite solid. You know, what, uh, throughout most of the tracks, nearly all of the tracks on this album, you know, what, having listened, I have to say, I realized a lot of the instrumentals on these tracks, they sound like those uh, beats for sale that you come across on audio streaming platforms such as SoundCloud, Audio Mark, you know, where producers will be showcasing their talents. And those beats, yes, they are good. But if you check and use them as they are without tweaks, you know what, uh, it, it, it sort of limits one's creativity. And sometimes the track will not have that personal feel, you know, compared to that uh, instrumental which is created specifically for a track which an artist would have written. So you feel there is that sort of disconnect, uh, you know, there's not... Uh, Upon that, you know, there isn't that personal uh, kind of touch on quite a number of the tracks, although the instrumental arrangements are good. But uh, for me, I felt uh, that sort of uh, disconnect. So I feel going forward, Indigo Saint definitely needs to prove, you know, what, uh, what makes him unique. He needs to work a lot with uh, the local producers. They have tracks, they have instrumentals that are arranged or that are created with uh, the lyrics that we have written, you know, in mind. Uh, he needs also to show what makes him unique and you get that you know what if you work if you sit down and work with the producer and you create a track from scratch you get that personal feel and you can create that sort of uniqueness on your track so i, I definitely feel indigo saying needs to put more work in that department and in terms of themes they're quite uh different but one major theme that you get throughout this album is indigo saying claiming that is one of the best you know hip-hop is an ego um kind of uh, genre where each and everyone will, will try to be you not know, stamping the authority, proving that they're the best and Indigo is doing the same, you know, on this album uh, you know, he, you can see what is definitely an artist who's aware of his talents and isn't, afl and isn't afraid uh, to flaunt them. The storytelling he did uh, on the track Beg Sosh part 1 and part 2 is beautiful those are my favorite tracks on this whole album and I very much enjoyed, uh, you know what, uh, those tracks. The storytelling is captivating. You know, those two tracks, for me, they, they definitely uh, testify, uh, you know, to the talent that uh, Indigo Saint has, possesses. And in terms of the vocals, Indigo was quite solid and delivered, a, you know, quite um, a good vocal performance throughout the album. For me, on some tracks, it was not as uniform as I would have loved. Probably it was an issue in terms of the production or the mixing of the mastering but just the smoothness is sort of changed uh between tracks i think if you listen to the track no cap it was smooth then you know what, as you switch to the tra the next track uh which is grootman you feel there's this certain roughness you not know the, the vocal performance like i said uh, i felt it was not as a uh, uniform as i would have loved and it may be a mixing issue but, uh, you know, such changes in an album, it sort of affects the listening experience. Uh, but when it comes to the choice of collaborations, they were all done very well. All of the artists that were chosen to collaborate, you know, Bekiwe was very, very lovely. Uh, Muse, Bilas the Majet uh, Majestic, they both snapped on the h &S Sniper. And Brad the Dude, you know, added that nice comic flavor uh, throughout this whole project. And now to conclude this summary review, I have to say Indigo Saint, 
delivered a commendable project. You know what? This was my first time listening to a project by Indigo Saint, and you know what? He showed a lot of potential. Uh, I enjoyed uh, a number of tracks on this album, and you know what? You could feel with this one artist who definitely, uh, you know what, deserves some acknowledgement. He has shown his talents, and you know what? With more work, he can definitely improve from where he left. Now, this project is definitely not for everyone, but if you're a fan, you know, of that underground type of vibe, uh, this project is uh, for you. But if you're a fan of the mainstream kind of sound, uh, this album will not do that much for you. So, my overall rating for this album, I give it a 6 or an 8 out of 10. Now, I know uh, there are a number of you that have managed to listen to this project. So, go in the comment section. Tell me what you think about the project. Uh, what do you think about Indigo Saint? What's your favorite project on this album? And after that, come back, like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you again next time.